Hi, my name is Stephanie Dano. I'm the executive director of Lifespan.io, and I'm here today to talk to you about making longevity biotech a mainstream movement. I want to thank all the esteemed organizers for having me today, and I sincerely wish I could be there in person with you all. I want to start off by talking about what these images have in common, and don't worry, I will get to Chris Hemsworth in just a moment. Historically, cancer was a taboo topic. It is now a global priority with enormous funding and attention. This biography of cancer underscores the massive role key individuals played in revolutionizing not just how cancer was treated, but how the public perceived it. Heroic advocates transformed national dialogue with media and PR strategies and turned cancer from a pariah disease into a global war on the disease that everyone wanted to fight together. In the beginning of the journey, these leaders recognized the importance of advocacy and crowdfunding. They knew the general public had a bias around the word cancer. There was a clear narrative issue, a lack of visibility, and a lack of audience who was receptive, as well as a desperate need for something to rally around. We see a similar situation when it comes to the word longevity. In addition to science, a critical path forward in the war on cancer was media and engagement strategy. But at the heart of any strategy is generally effective storytelling. How did we learn growing up? Storytelling. How does history get passed on from generation to generation? Storytelling. What am I doing here right now? I'm storytelling. The goal is to make you feel something. And in this case, hopefully take some action. So let's talk about the history of cancer and media. The Jimmy Fund started in 1948 when a children's charity and a baseball team joined forces to help a 12-year-old cancer patient dubbed Jimmy. On national radio broadcast, millions heard this boy visit with his heroes from the baseball team as they stood by his hospital bed. The story of the Jimmy Fund is one of grassroots involvement, of thousands of people organizing bake sales, lemonade stands, runs, walks, tournaments, dances, all to bring together their community and raise money for cancer research and care. Behind all of this was a strategic media initiative that was designed to amplify a new narrative that effectively activated the public. The story provoked emotions in people, transforming interest to active engagement. History has demonstrated that when you have a powerful social movement that engages the mainstream, it massively fuels the rate of acceleration and progress. This is what Lifespan.io is doing for the longevity biotech field. We are engaging the public with relatable influencers and thought leaders in a similar fashion. Next week, we're launching an exciting partnership with Center. This company is the brainchild of Australian Limitless and Thor actor Chris Hemsworth and is designed to give everyday people access to knowledge, guidance, and motivation from a team of hand-picked world-class experts focused on health, wellness, and fitness. Lifespan has been advocating for the longevity biotech rejuvenation science and the end of age-related diseases for nearly 10 years. Lifespan.io focuses on creating and leveraging strategic media initiatives that support the movement, quash misconceptions, and accelerate progress for the field. Our goal is to turn longevity research and development into a global priority. Today, we will discuss related challenges, strategies for improvement, and the importance of making our efforts more mainstream by increasing attention and funds for our collective cause. Our programs are designed to advocate for all of the work being done by researchers, scientists, startup founders, academics, investors, all by amplifying narratives that are easy for the general lay public to digest and engage with. Our goal is to build and serve the longevity community for the purpose of accelerating progress. We promote the advancements of biomedical technologies and aging research through sponsorship, democratization, public engagement, funding enablement, responsible journalism, media, awareness, and encourage collaboration, some of which is similar to the Jimmy Fund initiative. Our advocacy foundation started as a crowdfunding platform, helping basic science get attention and funding, and then expanded into longevity news and education using various media formats. It's important to note that we have very stringent code of ethics that our organization follows. What we publish is objective, fact-based, and not financially driven or influenced by government or commercial means. Over the last few years, we've been developing and leveraging various media platforms and crowdfunding infrastructure where we share all of our content and engage the public. We have a podcast with monthly recaps of all the basics of science and critical thinking about the future tech associated with it, as well as much, much more. 
We target audiences with every level of knowledge and ensure the information is evergreen and relevant. Media plays a critical role in enhancing mindsets. It also plays a critical role in changing them, increasing awareness, making important causes mainstream. Coca-Cola will pay over a billion dollars a year just on basic advertising. How much money is being spent selling or advocating the idea that longevity science isn't science fiction and that it's something to pay more attention to, to put more money in for further research? We all know it's not enough. But let me pause for a second. Think about your own family. Do you have someone with Alzheimer's disease? Is there somebody who's suffering from heart disease? This is what we're talking about. So how do we change this? A critical seed I'd like to plant here today is the importance of effective narratives, understanding your audiences, whether they are customers, investors, pharma partners, even your family is required to successfully pitch a business idea or belief model or convey the significance of a cause. Thoughtful and simplified narratives are absolutely key and one of the biggest hurdles that our community experiences today. Currently, there are two main paths to success, a massive scientific breakthrough, which will speak for itself, or more attention and funding to fuel and enable further research and development. The latter requires challenging biases and misconceptions on behalf of the general public, politicians, regulatory bodies, and anyone who's not yet aligned or educated about the incredible possibilities that will surface as we learn more about aging and ending age-related diseases. Lifespan.io is determined to pave the way for emerging biomedical tech to be accepted and adopted by mainstream audiences. We articulate the value of this industry for the sake of your future clients, patients, product, and end users, funders. We are thinking about your target audiences, confronting misinformation, actively reducing skepticism, educating with digestible and engaging content, and encouraging enthusiasm about less suffering and longer, healthier lives. These advocacy efforts are driving the development and expansion of our entire market. Let's walk through the how. How do we do this? So this virtual cycle illustrates an important process for effective advocacy. First, we identify important information and research and we'll put a spotlight on it. The community will share updates on their work with us. And then our teams of journalists, writers, and video producers will simplify the, con the complex science and present the new content in a way that educates entertains and excites the public. Our marketing and social media teams amplify this information to the masses through our various media hubs and platforms. These activities enable funding opportunities, which are then used to drive further research and create a critical readiness for institutional investment or additional Web3 and blockchain related decentralized support. This continuous cycle ensures scientific initiatives do not funnel to a point of obscure research that no one knows about. Community building also helps facilitate better collaboration and deduplicates efforts. One of the reasons I joined this space is because our industry and community is uniquely altruistic. The goal is to raise all boats. A single success will benefit everyone. It's a healthy incentive structure. However, there are challenges that we will all need to address together. Excuse me. I will explain two fundamental challenges that we are collectively facing that are drastically hindering progress. We must make the field more accessible to funding opportunities. We also need to generate more public awareness and support. Aging is extremely complicated science. To drive public interest, it needs to be translated into digestible, relatable narratives that people can actually understand because then they can easily get behind it. Regarding government funding, let's look at the United States for just a moment. According to estimates, aging causes 85% of deaths, but only receives 8.5% of all government health research funding. The NIH budget is less than 0.1% of US healthcare spending. It's undeniable that aging research is hugely underfunded. Private investment and citizen contribution are two strategic ways we can work to improve these financial accessibility hurdles. Attracting private investment for aging research, longevity biotech, and rejuvenation science has also been a historical challenge. This is due to misaligned investment ROI ethos, because by nature, investors are incentivized to see quick time horizons. 
All research has long time horizons, but none such greater than longevity, where you might have to wait 50 years to see proper results and or revenue. For investors that are curious or already aligned with longevity as a mission, Lifespan has its longstanding longevity investor network, where we connect early stage science and tech startups, as well as relevant media project entrepreneurs with angel investors and institutional funds. Crowdfunding is the practice of funding a project or venture via crowdsourced financial contributions. This tactic has been used to advance scientific progress for hundreds of years, with the frequency and scale of their use rapidly increasing during the 21st century. Thanks to the advent of the internet and the mainstream adopted of related connective technologies, crowdfunding with strategic media support provides a consistent call to action that's both visible and engaging, effectively helping a movement get off the ground. Here's one example of crowdfunding. Gitcoin Grants is a platform where research projects can attract something new called quadratic funding, which is a novel, democratized, and scalable way to match citizen contributions using Web3. We were excited about studies in both mice and humans and the potential for gamma therapy to slow or prevent progression of Alzheimer's. This internal lifespan research project aims to crowdsource the developments of a non-pharmacological remediation device software bypassing the slow and costly clinical trials associated with drug-based models to get meaningful results in the hands of the public as fast as possible. We already have a patent and are looking to turn this project into the first ever true decentralized clinical trial by using an accessible digital therapy. Another example of crowdfunding is PEARL, the Participatory Evaluation of Aging with Rapamycin for Human Longevity. We did this with Ageless Rx and brought in more than $180,000 and lots of awareness. Here's the NMN MICE research study with David Sinclair and Harvard Medical School. This campaign on our platform also surpassed its fundraising goal by an additional 150%. While crowdfunding brings in money, it engages the public and also creates valuable awareness, which helps with the private investor ROI challenge highlighted earlier. This is because a successful campaign demonstrates public interest and market potential effectively de-risking investment. Our greatest way to help the government funding challenge is through lobbying and political advocacy. Lifespan.io is also fiscally sponsoring various organizations and initiatives, such as the online educational resource component of A4LI, the Alliance for Longevity Initiatives. It's a nonprofit that is legally allowed to lobby politicians. This is the first and only 501c4 focus on creating social and political action around longevity. Here are some of their initiatives. For what it's worth, the caucus was recently announced. It's a bipartisan one, and it's a huge step forward for our field. We're fiscally sponsoring the Rapamycin Human Trial with Brad Stanfield and are actively receiving donations for the initiative still today. We also fiscally sponsor movies and qualified longevity media projects. The Last Generation to Die is about a near future when age reversal therapies are on the cusp of becoming reality and a science tries to save her father from natural death. Art can help change the way society views longevity research. So let's go back to this work cycle again. It is one thing to enable funding to introduce entrepreneurs to investors and to crowdfund. It is another to do this effectively. It is not easy without power to amplify and nothing I've discussed thus far can be successful without proper access to large audiences. So let's do a deeper dive into amplification and some of the associated challenges and opportunities. Before we get into how to access large audiences, it's important to understand the upfront challenges we all face with the general public. The longevity community as a whole is currently experiencing symptoms of a paradigm shift. At the end of the day, the rate of progress, the ability to get mainstream attention and recognition is heavily influenced by strong biases and misconceptions. To overcome this and all the other challenges I've discussed thus far, closing the gap and strategic activation is critical. Perceptions of the word longevity are vast. Look at some of the common concerns listed here. We all know how frustrating it can be to not only encounter misconceptions, but to effectively respond and to overcome them. 
We have an idea in our minds of how things are and it affects how we, and especially people outside the field, see things. Once upon a time, humans thought smallpox was due to the wrath of God and was impossible to overcome. How about what the general public believed before we had antibiotics or statins? Think about how you would respond to the listed reactions here. How confident are you in your ability to persuade someone that you're both actually on the same page when it comes to discussing longer, healthier lives and the possibilities associated with it? Lifespan has seasoned professionals that have crafted concise and precise messages that will counter most of these arguments. To promote our cause, we need to be able to respond effectively. Biases are deeply ingrained in our psyches. We all need to challenge our own assumptions about what's possible and help others see the value of initiatives such as these. Even with one-on-one -on -one conversations and online discussions, how else can we enhance efforts to close this bias gap? Our nonprofit mission is to build and leverage the bridge. Strategic content creation and thoughtful narratives are tailored to different audiences with different perceptions. This is one of our main focuses. Media and audience reach is one of the most important mechanisms to successfully making something mainstream. In addition to our 40,000 plus newsletter subscribers and multiple millions of curious people who have visited our website to learn about what's happening in the field, we have producers and video creators that drive four YouTube channels as shown in this funnel. Each channel has a different audience demographic. The idea is to get somebody to get more and more interested in the deeper science and funnel their way through this educational pipeline. It's important to reiterate that crowdfunding is not easy or effective without strategically positioned megaphone. This is the true purpose of our social media capabilities and expansive reach. We access more than hundreds of thousands of people every single day. Strategic collaboration is another tactic we love. We partner with the most powerful channels like Course to Sot here. 20 million viewers have viewed all their content over 2 billion times. The public watched our ending aging video collaboration more than 8 million times. Remember that a majority of these people are not familiar with the work that's being done in the labs. The video partnership is a perfect example of how the public narrative can be changed and how this type of advocacy and public engagement makes the ground fertile for all longevity initiatives or any initiative that you support for that matter. More specifically, various Longevity Investor Network investors expressed that this particular video influenced them to lead a seed fundraising round with a startup in our network. That's a big deal. Do you see the value in having tailored content that makes your research and its importance super easy to understand so you can widely distribute it with family, friends, investors, policymakers? Good content strategy and audience awareness helps us meet people where they are and guide them towards a greater understanding and appreciation for the longevity movement. The next step is to activate them. If the pandemic has shown us anything, it's the importance of clear communication between science and the public. How much the public understands, which audience you're targeting, and the respective narrative being leveraged matters now more than ever. This is the absolute reason that storytelling is important. There are massive benefits of having a public that is excited and on board with the idea of the research that you're working on. So let's make science more human together. Today, our nonprofit is at an inflection point. Many changes are on the horizon and we are so excited to leverage our history, partners, old and new, and presence in this community. A quick teaser of a few of the possibilities ahead that we have the infrastructure to support and are already engaging in. Multifaceted PR strategies, student-run initiatives, documentaries, video games with incentive structures baked in for health, high-profile collaborations. You've already seen the Chris Hemsworth influencer engagement that's gonna kick off next week. Collaborative research projects and novel funding initiatives with the latest emerging technologies. The impact these initiatives would have is indescribable. Just like everything else our organization has now, everything I just mentioned would be available to you, the community, to take full advantage of. As I mentioned in the beginning, the work we do supports and amplifies all of the work that you do. In order to up-level, the collective mission absolutely needs your support. So please keep donating. Reach out. We want to hear about your research. We want to hear about your stories, your challenges, your successes. We have to grow by learning from the past and from each other. At the end of the day, our goal is longer, healthier lives with the people we love. Thank you so much for having me today.
And right before I leave, I just want to share, we have our own conference coming up August 10th and 11th in New York City. It is the first annual Longevity and DSI, Decentralized Science Summit. However, this is our sixth annual conference regarding ending age-related diseases. We really hope to see you there and we'd love to support you. Thank you again, everyone, and enjoy the rest of the conference.